RCSI Bahrain was established by RCSI Dublin in 2003. RCSI Dublin, of course, dates from 1784, where it has had a long history of training medical students for Ireland, for the Irish uh, health system, but also, of course, for international uh, for work abroad. Well, we have basically three schools. We have the School of Medicine, which we offer three programs, five-year and six-year programs, in addition to the medical commencement program. In the School of Nursing, we provide the BSc in Nursing and the Bridging program, and we deliver uh, programs in postgraduates like Master in Nursing, but also we host programs from Dublin like the Master in Healthcare Management and the Quality and Safety in Healthcare Management. Students will graduate with two degrees, uh, the RCSI Bahrain degree and the National University of Ireland degree. Um, these, these degrees are based on international standards and the students are assured of a quality um, education. RCSI Bahrain uh, get a license to establish uh, a medical university in 2003. And in 2004, we have the first intake of medical students. 2006, we established the School of Nursing and then the School of Postgraduate. In 2008, our new building was completed and the formal opening was in 2009 under by the uh, ex-president of Ireland, Mary McAleese, under the patronage of the, His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister of Bahrain, Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman. To many of us in RCSI, uh, going to Bahrain feels like going home. We have much in common with the country, small island nation, very great focus on education and improvement. The college has been present in Bahrain for over 30 years, starting with family practice programs. Our medical program is benchmark against the World Federation of Medical Education. It's also been quality assured by the Bahrain Quality Assurance for Education and Training, and we have been placed at the top category here in Bahrain in terms of achievement in teaching, management, and governance. Also, our, all our medical and nursing programs get full confidence from the quality assurance, and that's the highest level of outcome. Uh, we work out of a state-of-the-art building, which, as you can see, is a very beautiful purpose-built building. It's on a campus of 27 acres. It overlooks the sea here in the Arabian Gulf and is, in every sense, a, a very beautiful and very dynamic building. It's a state-of-the-art campus uh, of about 15,750 square meters. You can add to that 900 square meter for the sport hall. And we recently uh, expanded our uh, resource, learning resource center to add 1,500 square meter. I think one of the, um, the most pleasurable places to be in is here in this new uh, learning and resource center, the new LRC, um, which is state of the art. Uh, different learning spaces and learning areas uh, similar to the concept of a learning commons where students can come in, work in groups, do individual work, uh, more traditional study maybe such as borrowing books but also more innovative uh, group learning. Well the facilities include obviously purpose-built theatres, lecture theatres, we have two of those each which can, can accommodate 160 students. We have a, a number of research laboratories we have a wonderful uh, clinical simulation lab. And then outside of our teaching facilities, obviously we have restaurant and student service buildings. We have a drop-in, a student learning drop-in center and a beautiful state-of-the-art library. In addition, of course, we have a large purpose-built sports center on the campus. And we have plans to develop that center even more in the coming uh, years and even in the coming months. We intend to grow our student numbers um, to, uh, from a current figure of around 1,100 to about 1,400. We intend to keep the operation relatively small. We value the intimacy that the uh, college provides. The students know each other, they know their staff, and the staff know them. We don't want to lose that particular dynamic and that particular warmth of the relationships which permeate the university here. Our strategic plan after an extensive engagement with students, staff and stakeholders, we launched our strategic plan for the next uh, coming five years, 2012-2017. It has three important 
pillars, which mainly they are the teaching and learning, research, and the community engagement. I would choose RCSI Bahrain because you can, you can pretty much guarantee you're going to get a world-class education in a multicultural environment. You get to see all the first world problems as well as numerous other problems from all over the world. And your skill level and um, exposure will be beyond anything you could probably see in places like Canada. And it's well worth it. I came here because of the top quality education that they offer us. And it's a very cultural, diverse environment. And I've met friends here that I probably have for life. The student is the center of the education here. So you got the learning resource center, the student support center, the st student services and the student council. All of them, all of them are working for you as the center of education. The facilities are amazing. We've got a well-functioning gym with all the equipment for the males and females. We've got uh, the library which is newly um, furnished and rebuilt. And with the VLE as well, it helps the student learn from your home or the university itself, yeah. Uh, my, my experience so far the past three years has just been really excellent and just looking forward to the future. A lot of people when thinking about university, they think about tradition and legacy and which university has been around the longest. And I think with RCSI Bahrain, what we get is a chance to be part of the tradition and a chance to be a part of the legacy, which you won't find in a lot of other places. So over here you get to help build it all and I think that's been one of the greatest parts of my student experience here. The RCSI award is recognized all over the world. It carries the highest cachet in the world of medicine. It ranks with any of the most uh, esteemed medical schools in the world. And I think that would be the primary reason that a, an RCSI degree, whether in Dublin or in Bahrain, is of equal value, has equal currency all over the world.